Welcome guys, it's Anime T here. This is the review portion for SAO Season 3 Episode 4. By the way guys, for those of you that don't know, make sure to look in the description below if you guys want to see the full length reaction. Remember guys, check in the description below. The redirect links are there and you can watch full length reactions of me watching whatever series I'm watching. This fourth SAO. So let you guys know right now but now moving on to the actual episode finally my boy Yujiro stepped up his game it's about damn time I've been waiting for this for the longest because I'm not gonna lie I wasn't feeling him before I mean I saw the potential I saw he had what it takes I know there's there's like a, some kind of brave person in there. But he just refused to let like he's kind. He feels. He remorses. He he feels for others. And that is a char that is a strong character with a strong sense of conviction. He has conviction. He just doesn't know how to play it out. But this time he was a hero. He sacrificed him. He went into battle. Knowing that he possibly might get wrecked, he, he basically died. But then he was revived thanks to Kirito and Sel Seika. Was it Seika or Selka? I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, he was saved by them by his heroic act. And now he can actually fight. He's not a dude swinging around the sword anymore thanks to Kirito's training. Which, I'm not going to lie, the training session was kind of short. They just basically did like a short little montage of their training session when I wish they'd had at least maybe one or two episodes of like uh, Yujiro getting the grasp of how to be a swordsman and and delivering those uh, delivering the fruits of his training on the tree and honestly I was just gonna I was just expecting him just to get a really deep cut. Either the same amount as Kirito are better. But no, he slit the whole tree off. He went above and beyond my expectations. And I really like that. I really like that my boy... Ki I was about to say Kirito. Not gonna lie, Kirito and Yujiro looked very much similar. They look exactly alike. But anyway, back to topic. I'm glad that Yujiro stepped up his game and showed that he has what it takes... To become a swordsman and get Alice back. But I feel like there's going to be a surprise when they see Alice again. Because based on the opening, it doesn't look like Alice is in peril. It looks like she's thriving uh, thriving based on the opening. Now, I could be wrong. And it could just be Alice is fighting the great fight. Simple as that. But it really looked to me like Alice is very much so, um, <clears throat> how can I say this? It looks like Alice is not in any real immediate danger, if that makes sense. It, she looks like she's fine, more or less, but she doesn't seem like she's an enemy. Because you, I was kind of suspecting Alice kind of is... She joined those dark knights or whatever you call them. But her spirit went to Kirito's and, re and told him that she's waiting for them. Now, I'm not sure if that was legit. I mean, no, I'm pretty sure it is legit. It's a, it's a virtual world. It's the underground world. Anything could happen here. And it'd be okay because this isn't the real world. This is a computer-generated world. So, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that was Alice. I don't know. It's just right now, Alice's situation is kind of a mystery. We don't know how she's, where she stands. But I'm sure once we do find out, it's going to be a huge surprise to everyone. And I can't wait till we get to that point. But we got 50 episodes in this series, guys. We're only... We just finished episode 4. We are nowhere near done, and I'm good with that because I want to enjoy this as much as possible. I am not in a hurry to uh, to finish this right away, but it couldn't hurt to binge. But I'm I, I'm I'm in the same boat as you guys. 
I am no longer behind when it comes to SAO. I'm in the same boat as you guys. True, there's a few things I forget here and there, which I do not mind. God dang, I hit my freaking knee against this table. Um, I do not mind you guys addressing certain things that I miss as long as it is in a very respectful manner. Um, do not. Uh, what? What was I gonna say? Again? Oh yeah. If there is any questions revolving anything regarding the episodes, you're free to ask those as well. I also accept what you might call it um, answers. Well, I give you questions, you guys answer. Not mandatory, optional. I mean. You guys are free to answer if you want to. It's it doesn't it doesn't hurt my feelings if you guys don't answer. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So questions, questions, questions. <sighs> were you were you guys as hype when I saw freaking Yujiro slit that freaking tree in half? That was the best for me. For me, that was like the best moment in this whole season that was like the most hype moment for me and that the fight yo the fighting here the animation fight for this episode was on point they knew what they were doing this episode and i'm glad they did it flawlessly um second question let's see what's a good second question um what are your thoughts on the character Yujiro, guys? Do you like him? Do you dislike him? If you do like him or dislike him, let me know. Let me know why in the comment section. In the comment section below. Once again, questions are optional, not mandatory. It's up to you if you want to answer them or not. But I would like to have an engagement with my guildmates that I still will continue to spread, as as I always do in every review portion of every freaking video. So, but yeah, guys, that's it. I'm out. It's getting a little late. I got to hit the hay. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, technically it is tomorrow. I'll see you guys when I wake up. Anyway, guys, remember, like, comment, sub. If you haven't already, really motivates me to put more comment out there for you. More content out there for you guys. See how I trip that up all the time? And I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Peace. Oh, my God. Stop recording.